the big question is, when do we start building our useless ROM? And to do that, we actually need something to build. So what I've done is I went ahead and took my uh, Blue Life 1 X2, which has uh, a successful Marshmallow build, and uh, particularly for Lineage, which our useless ROM is based on Lineage. And so I've uh, made a new branch for each the device, the kernel, and the vendor, and I've called that branch useless ROM. Now technically you'd probably want to put like useless ROM M for Marshmallow or something like that, or maybe U-13.0 or whatever the case may be uh, to distinguish you know different branches of it, but we're just building this one branch this one time just to uh, understand and see this process so I'm not too worried about it getting confused uh, between different branches here. But uh, so we have we have these here, and by the way, this is kind of the more advanced uh, video series here. If you need help with things like how to make branches and how to uh, add things to your room service and how to do the things uh, like that, I do have tons of other videos. Please check them out, um, and you'll you'll be able to find those readily available and uh, and get the answer to those questions. For now, I just kind of want to work with the with those that kind of understand what we're doing already and uh, just work through this process together. So we go ahead and we add those to our room service and we download them of course. And when we do we get our device Blue Life 1 X2 which looks identical to our lineage. Uh, I went ahead you know because I had changed that branch I went ahead and, uh, and edited it a little bit here as well. Now the big thing that I ended it was instead of vendor CM it goes to vendor useless ROM config common. So everything else right now is still the same. It still says lineage for product name. And of course if you want to change that you're just going to have to go through everything and change everything lineage to useless ROM. And that's that's completely fine. Just But for the purposes of this uh, demonstration just showing how we're doing what we're doing uh, I'm not going to take the time to completely rebrand the entire uh, set up as that would take a lot of work um, just literally like we've been doing going through and changing everywhere that says you know vendor CM or CM whatever to change that to be useless ROM and useless ROM and changing that in your make files um, and that's that's uh, essentially what people are doing when they're putting these together which is great um, and you would definitely want to do that if you were uh, concerned with branding your custom custom ROM. Um, but so here we've got uh, our, our tree and we're ready to um, to build there. Um, I did for now I went to our vendor useless ROM config where we had added that Apollo and I just commented that out for now because you should try doing your first build with as few additions as possible and then slowly add one thing at a time fix any problems that arise and then add another thing fix those problems that arise because you're gonna get some issues first off the big issues that we're gonna get as soon as we run this is we know that we took out vendor CM so we have useless ROM and we pointed everything in our config here to go to useless ROM and we pointed our device tree to go to useless ROM but we're gonna find out that there's probably a ton of other things that are gonna point to vendor CM and this is just gonna be errors that pop up so you have some choices you can either run this just as is and see what happens and go through and fix each error as it shows up or you can uh, go ahead and uh, you know do a search through your useless ROM and find every file that references vendor CM and change that to be vendor useless ROM uh, you know six of one half dozen of the other your choice how you want to do it um, I'm pretty positive that we would have a problem in the device folder so if for sure you wanted to save a little bit of time going to the device folder at least would be good. So if we're building blue, it's also going to use QCOM. And when it goes to QCOM, there's common and SE policy. So if we look here, no, uh, nothing pointing to to that. 
uh, cm directory. We look at um, this one here, and we do see cm se policy. So once again, what we would have to do is fork device qcom se policy, and so we would have our own version of it, and then we'd have to change this uh, se policy dot make file to say uh, useless useless rom uh, instead and so right now I'm just gonna save this because that's something we would definitely need to uh, go ahead and do fork that and change that uh, in there but uh, we'll, we'll save this for now we'll uh, do our test run and we can come back to this as well but be aware that essentially this is what you're doing and this is why when you look at uh, for instance uh, you know lineage uh, let's grab one of them here when you look at lineage OS why it has so many different um, packages in here or repositories excuse me not packages repositories in here and that's because each one of these had something that needed to be changed specifically to make sure that it worked for lineage so um, in the end you will probably end up having kind of similar number of uh, repositories the, well especially the more devices you support the more you'll have um, a lot of devices if you took out the device files um, then you'd have a significantly less number of them, but still uh, going to be quite a few um, repositories. So just be aware of that, and uh, we'll start working through here. Um, if you do not fork them, but you just edit the files that you have directly, then someone else won't be able to build it unless they edit the files directly, and that's why you would want to fork them, change them, save them, sync them, add them to your uh, repo manifest and get those downloaded uh, as normal to make it easy for the next guy um, but another thing you can do if you're doing this yourself and you just want to see what happens what you could do is start a running tab or a note of sorts so for instance we make a note here uh, notes and we say this file so use this ROM device qcom se policy useless from device qcom se policy se policy dot make changed useless or excuse me changed vendor cm to vendor useless Okay, and this would be important so that way you keep track of what you need to go back and change. So we'll call this notes on change dot text and we'll save that in our documents folder. So that way we just kind of have a running tab of what it is that we need to change uh, when we go back and, and do this. Or you could do them one at a time. If you do them one at a time, you definitely can't miss them and, uh, and that would be pretty handy. So uh, let's give this first run here and we will probably see this fail in uh, a matter of a minute. Oh, well it helps if I build an environment setup. There we go. We brunch and what do we get here? Okay, no rule to make target. Okay, let's back up here. We brunched it and it says vendor CMSC policy dot make. No such file or directory. So this is in build core config make 739, right? So uh, build core config make. Let's go to build core config dot make line 739. And what do we see here? Right here, vendor cm se policy se policy dot make. So we need to change this to be useless rom, and then we need to add this to our notes so we can go back because we're going to have to fork this build core 
and change that and edit it as well. So we will save this and we're going to say, we can just copy the error right here. We'll put uh, numbers on this so that way we know that it's a new line. So we changed to vendor useless ROM. Okay, we'll save our notes there and let's uh, start the build again. So already uh, within the first uh, minute of trying to build this we know that there's two more repositories for sure that we need to fork, edit, and then add to our um, our manifest file to say download ours and not the lineage version. And essentially that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going through and uh, and forking, editing, adding to our repo manifest or to our uh, yeah to our default manifest and then uh, moving on. So let's give it a second here to see uh, what other build error we get. Taking just a second here. All right, we're off and started, so we'll see what happens next.